consider this national income model we have three equations y as the income c as the consumption and t as the equation for tax now let i not that is the investment be equal to 1000 and g not which is the government expenditure be equal to 1500 so what will be the equilibrium income this problem may be solved by using the simple substitution and elimination method also in this video we will try to solve this problem by using the matrix method so as we have done in the case of market equilibrium we will rewrite the equations in such a way that all the variables are on the left hand side and the constants are on the right hand side and the missing variables are given coefficient of 0 so therefore we end up with the equation y minus c plus 0 into t is equal to 1000 since the value of i naught is given as 1000 and g naught is given as 1500 second equation will be minus 0.7 y plus c plus 0.7 t is equal to 40 and the third equation will be 0.4 4y plus 0 into c because c is absent in the third equation and plus t that is equal to 100. We then express the this particular equation uh, in the matrix form. We will write the coefficient matrix then the variable matrix and the constant matrix. So in matrix form we have this is the coefficient matrix this is the vector of the variables and this is the column vector of the constants suppose the coefficient matrix we name it as a the variable matrix as x and the constant matrix as z we have a x is equal to z or x is equal to a inverse z x is a column vector of variables of order 3 by 1 a is a matrix of the coefficients of order 3 by 3 and z is a column vector of the order 3 by 1 now we can find the inverse of a by using the formula adjoint of a divided by determinant of a therefore we have determinant a is equal to 0 0.58 you can calculate it by pausing the video and check the value and the adjoint matrix of a is given by 1 1 minus 0 0.7 0 0.42 1 minus 0 0.7 0 0.4 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 therefore a inverse will be equal to this matrix and we can find the value of x x is equal to a inverse into the constant so we get the values 4 2 58.62178.62 and 1803.44 so the first value gives the equilibrium income the second value gives the equilibrium consumption and the third value gives the equilibrium tax. Now if you want to verify these values whether they are correct or not you may replace the values in the model 
the initial model the national income model if all the equations are satisfied you may conclude that the values are correct so if you remember the equation consumption plus 1000 plus 1500 will be equal to 4258.62 that is equal to y the second equation 40 plus 0 0.7 into y minus t this will be equal to 1758.62 that is equal to c and the third equation 100 plus 0 0.4 into y that is equal to 1803.44 and that is equal to d hence the values are verified I am sure you must have been fascinated by the presence of the matrix around you and I also sense that you have many questions in your mind. This is a good sign. You are thinking logically, critically and scientifically. Keep using this bent of mind and maybe you end up with some new discovery, new invention or a new theory. See you next week. Till then, enjoy life and keep learning.